Det var i Rom. Hello! Welcome to a writing world five minute review. Today we are reviewing The Devil's Road to Kathmandu by Tom Vater. So I was sent a copy of this book um, as part of the Blackthorn book tour. Um, so shout out to those guys for um, consistently providing me with amazing hidden gems that I otherwise wouldn't have found myself. The Devil's Road to Kathmandu is an atmospheric trek um, across dangerous terrain, continents. So it's all about journeys. So it's about um, physical journeys, uh, emotional journeys, mental journeys, journeys across time, all that sort of good stuff that we like. Um, I read it on a bus, which felt very appropriate. Um, I was on a journey um, and I, I just sped through the entire thing. It was good, it really absolutely totally captivated me. The Devil's Road to Kathmandu is kind of a dual story, um, I guess there are two stories going on at the same time. You have um, one set back in the 70s, um, which is about four friends on a sort of a drug fueled adventure across um, Asia to uh, their final destination which is Kathmandu and then at the same time you have the sort of reunion of these friends in the sort of I think it's early 2000s I think if I remember correctly um, you have this uh, this um, reunion of these friends um, as they try to figure out what happened back on their first journey with the addition of um, one of their sons as well um, and I like I liked how all the characters were affected by by what happened back then so you could there was a real shift even though you didn't see what happened to the characters between the sort of the two journeys the ones who were in the initial journey and then the ones at the um when they reappeared in the second journey you could really see how their characters had changed and how this um journey had affected them and it was a really efficient and effective way of showing that and i thought it was just thought it was great. I thought overall that the, the story is quite a tense um, roller coaster. You have the sort of tension of the first one. The two stories are kind of interspersed so you, you learn a bit of each at a time um, and I think I think it was a really good way to do that. Um, the tension is constantly ramped up through different reveals so you know you go back to the 70s and it ends on a bit of a cliffhanger and then you go forward in time and it leaves you wondering how I ended up in this position and then it goes back again. Um, and it ends in another bit of a cliffhanger and it keeps keeps going like that until you get to the final end um, where it snowballs, that's a pun if you've read it, it snowballs um, into this really nice dramatic finish. The final reveal was absolutely completely unexpected, I never would have guessed that that was where it was going. Um, in retrospect, in, in hindsight it made sense but when I was reading it through the first time I was like there's no way this can end cleanly and it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. I thought the ending was a little bit too loose if it had been a bit tighter a bit a bit neater it would have been a little bit better in my opinion for me personal taste obviously um the absolute highlight was the interactions between the original four characters in the in the 70s um i did think at one point there were a lot of characters that were sort of named and involved especially considering they cover two different sort of time spans because you have the characters at the beginning of their arcs and then at the end of their arcs they do kind of come across sometimes as completely different characters which can lead to quite a large um ensemble cast however i thought it was balanced really well it worked great and um, it never felt too overwhelming the absolute high point that i loved the most was probably the setting it was really atmospheric it was really rich the various locations um all were all described gorgeously in amongst all the carnage that actually went on I thought there were a few plot lines that seemed a bit extraneous that kind of led to the ending being a bit looser than I would have liked, but it's personal preference. Um, overall, this was a solid four star book. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much to um, Blackform Book Tours again for giving me the opportunity to read this. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a wee thumbs up. And if you really, really, really like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I make videos like this frequently if not all the time i'm um, getting back into it we're getting there i'll pop a link to my full book review um of this book um as well as uh the amazon and goodreads page down in the description below uh, i'll also pop a link down to my twitter and my instagram down there as well and um, thank you very much for watching again and enjoy the rest of your day bye